<laughs> hey, I think you're up. Uh, I see now the record. I'll give it a little pause. Right. <laughs> okay, you're ready. Hello, everyone. This is Katie Smith, and with my co-host Roger Mace, we're here to welcome the to the LHS Senior Interview with four of the five seniors that were chosen to give the commencement speeches for the upcoming graduation. I am class of '92 LHS graduate, and I'm excited that these guys are joining us. And I'd love for Mrs. Boggs, the high school assistant principal, to kind of intro these young folks um, and tell us a little bit about themselves. Okay, good morning, everybody. So I have the honor of being the coordinator to determine our graduation speakers for the class of 2021 this year. And it was a different process. The kids had to fill out an application and they had to audition in front of a committee. And it was a very tough um, candidate pool. We had 21 total kids that tried out and our top five um, will be giving speeches at our ceremony on Friday, May 28th. So we're super excited. The four of the five that are joining us this morning are Christian Swart, Maddie Whitman, Emma Schloop, and Katie McAbee. Wow, this is this is a, an amazing group, and I just I'm I'm just so excited because this has been this is a combination. This is a big deal. This is one of those steps that you look forward to and you're moving on. So let's just start off a little bit by each of you guys kind of telling us a little bit about yourselves and what your plans are now after high school because it's becoming a reality like really really quick so how about katie you start us off um and then we'd love to hear from everybody awesome so hi i'm katie mcabee um i'm currently a ccp student at ohio university lancaster I chose to forego my senior year at the high school and start my college career early. Um, but during high school, I have been a member of the Thespian Society for four years. I did choir for three years. And outside of school, I've done dance lesson for nine years. And I have also done community theater productions. Um, and next year, I will be going to Ohio University, Athens, the main campus. And I will be majoring in theater. I love it. Hi, I'm Maddie Whitman. I, during high school, I've participated in band, choir, theater, uh, all the arts except art, because I can't draw. But um, uh, after high school, it was a tough decision. I've also been involved in a lot of AP science classes, and I thought about being a neuroscientist, but in October, I changed my mind completely, and I was like, I want to be a music education major. So. <laughs> In the fall, I made it into Ohio State University's music program, and in the fall, I'll be going there to get my degree in oboe and minoring in voice. Hey, Emma. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm Christian Swart. I played soccer all four years in high school and was also involved in TV2 our school new show. And next fall, I'm going to Ohio University to study computer science. Hi, I'm Emma Schloop. Um, what haven't I done in high school? I've done band um, all four years. I have, um, last year I started FFA, my journey a little late. I've done 4-H outside of school. Um, I'm a Ohio Miss Agriculture USA Queen. Um, I do Farm Bureau, Grange, all that kind of stuff, which um, all led me to my path of agri-science education. And I'll be attending the Ohio State University Agricultural Technical Institute for two years to get my agri-science education. And then I'll transfer over to main campus in Columbus um, to finish up my degree. Wow. Good stuff. Uh, yes. Um, one thing that I know that you've learned a lot about yourself, especially from last year, but over the past year, what have you learned about yourself that you would like to share with us today? Katie? Sure. Do you want us to just go in the same order for each question? Yes, that's perfect. Let's just perfect. go in the same Okay. So I learned over the past year that I was worth fighting for 
because I used to be really shy and I wouldn't say anything to anybody. You could be like yell at my face and I'd just take it. I'd be like, okay. Um, but I've really had to learn that life is super short and you have to go after things. And actually, um, for this graduation audition, because you have to audition instead of being picked, um, I didn't, I got an email that I didn't, didn't meet the audition requirements which I thought was super weird. So I kind of talked with Mrs. Boggs and um, we figured it out and I was actually able to audition. And if I wouldn't have grown to know that I was worth fighting for, I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. That's, that's real cool. Um, I say in the last year, I've learned a lot about myself. Like when during quarantine, I was really just doing things that made me happy. And I think that helped me decide to finally go into music after all. Like um, science makes me happy, but so does music. And it's something I've been doing all my life. So um, making that final decision, I was like, if I'm gonna do this my whole life, I might as well be happy and like want, it, want to wake up every morning and do it. So I might as well go for it. So yeah. Yeah, I'd say for me, it's kind of similar to what Katie said and kind of coming out of my shell this past year and Kind of realizing that um you know to take advantage of the opportunities we have and not let them pass by because you know you don't know how many you'll have and don't know what could you know things change and things can get taken away so when you have opportunities make the most of them um i definitely learned this year that um i'm capable of a lot more and i'm more confident and stuff than what I thought I was. So like sophomore year of high school, my anxiety got really bad and I would never dream of being in front of a group of people talking, um, let alone my own uh, senior class. Um, and I always said I would choose a career where I wouldn't have to talk to people all the time, but I definitely <laughs> learned that I'm a lot more capable of things than I thought. And um, like the scholarships I earned, I never dreamed I would earn those. I was like, Maybe I'll get one or two, but I'm sitting at almost $20,000 worth of scholarships right now. And I basically have my first year paid off. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. Can I say, I, you've already inspired me. I'm, I, I'm just telling you guys have really, really have. You know. Well, those, and those lessons are, are lessons that will go forever. Those are the, some of the most important things of, of valuing yourselves first and foremost and uh, and not taking for granted any day and this you guys probably learned a bunch through we all have over the last year and a half so yeah from katie standing up for yourself to you know everything else that that's that's unbelievable um your senior year there's always a highlight because i know that katie has many of course um however what's what's been your highlight of your senior year Okay, so this is actually the highlight of my year is being able to speak at graduation. Um, as you know, I haven't been at the school all year. So just to be able to close everything off, talking to everybody in the class of 2021, um, I'm giving the class address, by the way, um, talking to everybody and actually being able to give a proper goodbye has been very special. Um, I'd say one of the highlights, uh, all through high school, I tried I tried out for the musical like my freshman year. I didn't even make it. I didn't make the cut at all. And then this year I was the lead in the musical, which was like something that was on my bucket list for high school. I wanted to do that and it was great. And I had so much fun doing it. And it, yeah. For me, it has to be making first team all Ohio and the Great Lakes region team for soccer this year just because soccer has always been something important to me, you know, since I was five and I've always worked for it. And it was kind of the perfect way to wrap up, you know, soccer in my life. So, um, The highlight of my senior year is really just getting in depth and involved in um, FFA and really learning that this is what I want to do the rest of my life. Um, and then that led me to actually earn a Ohio State FFA scholarship, which is so hard to earn for people who have been in it for four years. And then that eventually led into me earning two national FFA scholarships, which some people fight for those for years and 
it was just a dream to earn one, let alone two. So. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's a great, I mean, I, I just, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And I'm glad you guys kind of get to culminate all of this and what you've done with your class to kind of go off into the world because those memories, all of us you carry them with you. So, you know, obviously this past year, the pandemic has been wild. Um, so maybe give us a little bit of an idea, maybe your greatest challenge throughout this time, whether it was school related, personal, and, and how did you kind of work through to overcome that? Um, I know it kind of threw a lot at you guys, but kind of give us a little bit of what you, you know, your greatest challenge was. Okay, I'm going to say that my greatest challenge was working through the craziness of just everything. Um, it was really, it was kind of hard to push myself to sit down and do my homework when I was thinking maybe I'm not going to have toilet paper for a month or <laughs> crazy hornets are going to sting me and I'm just going to die anyway. What's the point of doing homework? Um, but I really had to push myself to sit down and get everything done. And I'm so glad that I did um, because I don't know where I'd be now. Um, probably one of the, I am a very like people person. I love seeing people in person. I can't do online school. I need like the personal connection. One of the biggest things that like I still is, a, it's a big, it's a problem is I always like to smile at people when I see them like out on the street and with masks, you can't really tell if they're smiling back or not. So something I started doing was waving at people to make sure that they <laughs> knew or like to see them. So. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, for me, it was um, early on, you know, when we were, when we weren't able to see people and stuff, I felt like I, the time was kind of just going by. Um, so this senior year, I've kind of made it a point to kind of take advantage of the time and not just, you know, say, oh, we're in a pandemic and let the time go past. So mine was um, finding the courage and the strength to bounce back after being told time and time again, uh, something's been canceled or something you can't do this year or um, you can't do this your senior year, even though you've been looking forward to it, even though we've been able to do a lot of things that we thought we wouldn't but being able to bounce back from those knowing that most likely the next thing will come um and that might get taken away but just pushing along until you hear that answer and then being able to bounce back from that and being ready for the next thing just having to bounce back all the time no it's impressive and again you guys were hit with the unknowns of what's going to happen next week. Is this going to be taken away? Where are we? Are we going to be in school or are we not? And I, the resiliency that you, you talk about is, is something that's going to you know serve you well for forever. And the self-motivation to sit down and get things done, right? It could have been really easy for you guys this past year to kind of brush it off like, oh, woe is me. So, you know, kudos to you guys for, for really making the most of it and doing an amazing job. So, okay, so you guys have a lot of people who impact your lives, right? And, you know, hopefully you were able to think about that, but who has had the greatest impact on you during your high school career, whether it was a teacher, a program, a coach, you know, what was that that kind of really kind of sits with you? Mine was my junior year English teacher, Ms. Fackler. She was amazing um she taught she believed in me more than i had ever believed in myself or a teacher had ever believed in me uh, and she made me feel really smart she always pushed me to do the best that i could and it just made me grow in all of my classes it was the first year that i got all a's and without her i wouldn't have had the courage to start my college career early and i'm very thankful for her for me, it's probably um, Mrs. Olis, who is the band director. She's She'll be the head band director next year after Mrs. Price retires. And like all of my music teachers have been so influential on me. But Mrs. Olis had like this um, supportive like attitude towards me. Like even though I know I wasn't like the best going into my auditions and stuff like that, she would be like, Maddie, you got this. It'll be fine. You just have to practice and be yourself and everything will turn out fine. And it's probably because of her that I'm going into music, so. The soccer program has had a big impact on me. Um, 
I played varsity my freshman year, so that kind of um, freshman and sophomore year were big confidence boosters for me, you know, being able to hang with older guys and, you know, make an impact. And then junior and senior year, I kind of grew into my, grew into my own as a uh, leader, um, being a captain and getting the best out of those around me. So it's definitely shaped who I am. Mine would have to be um, my ag teachers, Mr. Dick and Mr. DeLong. Um, since I did join FFA uh, a couple years later than everyone else, they didn't treat me as some new freshman. They um, taught, they treated me as if I'd been in the program since freshman year. Um, they pushed me farther than any other person I have met in the school has. They told me when I felt like I couldn't do it, they told me that I could. They got me to state one year with my job interview skills. And they've just pushed me to get more and more involved just so that I can really get the whole FFA experience in two years when others have four years. No, yeah. you know, um, I, I know Katie and I have been using this over and over about being impressive, but wow. So far, you guys are doing great. Um, I know coming from this senior class, when I when this question is being asked right now, what advice would you give to your underclassmen? Because what you have been through your junior year, your senior year, and what you have learned, it's it, it, this your advice now would be so much different from last year and the year you know prior. So. What advice would you give to the underclassmen about these past two years? And, you know, just share what would it be and why? My biggest advice from the past year <laughs> would be don't be afraid to do anything. Um, don't be afraid to try out for sports, audition for musicals, or to speak at your graduation. Um, even no matter who you're up against, all of the people like, here today are honor students and they're graduating with their honors diplomas and they have the highest GPAs. And I'm, I'm not one of those. Uh, I do have a 3.6, which is kind of low, um, but don't let a single thing in your life pass you by because you'll never know what could have happened and what would have happened. That's always harder to deal with that than failure. Wow. Um, I'd say the biggest thing is don't waste time. Like my freshman and sophomore year, there was so much drama with like my friend group and people like dating people's exes, all that. I'm like, it doesn't matter. Just be friends with everyone. <laughs> don't waste time being angry at someone that it you won't even remember it like three years down the road. So just spend as much time as you can with the group that you're with because I know, especially this year, like every senior activity, my our senior class has just really come together and had fun together. And that's really what you're going to remember after high school. Hmm. Yeah, kind of along the same lines, just take advantage of the time you have, because, you know, this is a special time in your life and you're going to experience a lot of new things and meet a, a lot of new people that will have an impact on you. And especially at, a, at Logan High School, there are a lot of people that want you to, to succeed and will help you along the way. So, uh, you know, realize what you have and take advantage. Mine is, it's never too late to turn your academic career around. I know freshman year, I was hitting wall after wall after wall and I was not having the, just wanting to do my work. I didn't wanna do it. It's never too late to turn that around. I was probably heading down a path that would not have led me to here today. I would not be graduating with honors and stuff if I didn't until I needed to shape back up because I needed to do this for me to prove that I could come back from this kind of stuff. So just know it's never too late to get your grades back up or to just get back to doing all the academic stuff that you want to do. Well, um, Katie McAbee, you're going to start us off with this one and we'll see adjectives that you've learned um, from your junior English teacher. Um, <laughs> if you had to describe your senior year in one word, what would it be? 
Growth. Okay. Uh, I've done a lot of my growing up this past year, a lot. Um, as I've said, I've learned to fight for myself, um, to speak up towards people. I used to be really anxious about talking to someone at like McDonald's to order. I was, it, I was a little chicken for everything. Um, and now I've, you know, learned that life is just what you make of it and you have to reach out and grab it. Um, I've grown in my confidence. I've grown in my friendships. I've just grown in every aspect of my life this past year. Hmm. Um, I would probably describe it as unified. And my compared to my past years, like not to quote High School Musical, but uh, the senior class was really all in this together. But um, basically, it was comforting to know that like everyone was going through the same thing. We were all scared of what was going to happen to our senior year and we all made it through it together, so. Hmm. I would say inspiring. Um, you know, this year has been kind of unrelenting with, you know, uncertainty and, you know, a lot of disappointment, but to see the way that the people around me and even I myself have responded and, you know, not just kind of written the year off, but really made it into something special and made the most of it has been really inspiring for me. I would have to use quick. Um, everyone told me as I was going through high school, I would be like, I just can't wait to graduate. I can't wait to get out of here. And everyone's like, your senior year will fly by. You won't even see it. And this year, like at moments, it felt like it was never ending. And then at moments, it's like, where did the whole month of May go? I, I graduate on Friday. Where did that go? What, what's happening? What is going on? Um, and just honestly, if I could go back to beginning of senior year, I would probably tell myself slow down. Like it was a good thing that I turned in my college application and I was accepted real quick and I have everything set up for next year. I have everything. I have down payments paid for, but I would definitely tell myself, just slow down a little bit and stop living in the future. You need to be in this moment because it's going to be going by quick. And I definitely learned that being this is my last week of school and it just it's like a blink and it's all gone. Wow. That's unbelievable. You got good good work on the words. You did, you did learn something this, these four <laughs> years. And, uh, <laughs> all right. Let's, let's kind of wrap this up with... Um, who maybe you want to thank you know obviously you know all the things that you guys have done all the things i've done roger like it isn't just us right there's so many people that have a hand in what you do um from the very small things in the background to the big things so give us you know take this opportunity to thank somebody for their support or their guidance um over the last 13 years you know, in school or home, parents, I mean, whatever it is, like, who would you like to just thank right now? Because sometimes we kind of forget. Uh, but I just want to hear kind of who you guys want to give gratitude to, uh, you know, for this moment and this time. I want to thank my parents um, because for 13 years, they've made sure that I've done my homework every night and that I was always pushing myself to be the best I could be. Um, and whenever I would make maybe poor decisions, like waiting till the night before to study or to memorize my lines for theater class, they would always put me first by staying up with me all night and like helping me, not all night till like about 12-ish. I had to get some sleep. Um, <laughs> So they would stay up with me no matter how tired they would be at work. And they've driven me to all the crazy things that I've had to do for the past 13 years. And I would not be the person who I am today without them. I have like a, a pretty similar story to Katie. My parents have always been there for me. Uh, they've been so, so influential in like driving me to all of my activities and just just fantastic and my high school teachers have been so helpful like if i ever fell behind on an assignment i would email them and immediately they would be like it's okay i got you don't worry about it and yeah basically everyone like in the past four years has helped me so much and grow into who i am now yeah there's a lot of people i could thank but with me too it'd have to be my parents um you know they've always offered support when 
uh, that's appropriate. Uh, also stepped in when they needed to and said, "Hey, what you're what you're doing is not going to work." So, <laughs> um, yeah, just always being there in the way that I need them to, whether you know, just offering advice and kind words, or you know, kind of helping better myself. So, um, mine is definitely my parents. They, I know at times they wanted to tell me to just slow down. You're that's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Um, but no matter what, they have definitely been there to support me and everything. Um, they didn't give up on me when I needed the most. They always made sure that my mental health was perfect, uh, not perfect, definitely, but they always made sure that I was okay and that whenever something would happen during this pandemic and I just felt like giving up they told me if you give up you're gonna miss so many things so just keep going so definitely them for pushing me in everything that I do yeah I mean it's just always nice to give a little thanks because sometimes you know your folks you kind of <laughs> they get a little you know we don't do it enough um and I think when you get older you really appreciate it so Roger any closing remarks before I kind of take us home well, you know, I, I would like to say, Katie, um, you've inspired me today on so many levels with your bubbliness, your, your enthusiasm. Uh, for someone that was afraid to speak, you are a great speaker, very confident. Maddie, impressive, very creative. I can tell you, you're going to be doing some great things. You, you've, been, you've impressed me. Christian, as always, you know, I've watched you play soccer. I watched you grow up. Um, very inspiring. And, you know, when you said inspiring, you've inspired me. And I'm a, it, it's an honor to be here and interviewing you guys. And when it comes to Emma, oh, my gosh. Hey, I'm one word for you, girl, grit. I, I see grit in you. Nothing's going to, if, if there's a barrier, you're, you're going to knock it down. And, and I wish all of you the best. And thank you for taking time to spend with Katie and I today. Yeah, I just keep enjoying it all, you guys. I know you guys have a great perspective. Enjoy the small, the big, the tough, like embrace it all. And I'll, you, ha you have the tools to do anything. And you also have a village behind you. I tell you what, it, it's for me so proud to be from Logan because they're always with you. You always have a place. You always will have support. No matter what you do in your world, you will have people that are pulling for you. And just know that, that you always have those guys behind you along with your family. And congratulations, you guys. And we wish you the best and nail it. Do well at your on your speeches as a graduation. Congrats. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you.